Hi folks, this is Steve and today we are playing Agricola. Um, so what I wanted to do with this video is kind of play through Agricola and see how it stacks up to games in the modern era. Agricola's running at about 15 or so years old now. Uh, so I thought it'd be fun to take another look at it and see how it compares. Uh, so we're playing the solo version on Board Game Arena. Um, and let's just jump into the gameplay. It's a nice and easy game, uh, so I can kind of explain what's happening as we go. But essentially, it's a worker placement game. We're going to be placing workers onto the board. Uh, each round, we're going to get some new locations that we can visit. Uh, and these little cornucopia symbols are harvests where we're going to have to feed our workers. Okay, so uh, this is our little personal player board. These are our two workers. If we want more workers, we're going to get... We're going to need to get more houses for them and throughout the game we're going to be plowing fields and collecting uh, farm animals to try to keep our little uh, village happy so let's jump into things so we're going to start out by plowing a field we're going to go and get some farmland and let's pop that up there confirm that and then we're going to need something to put in our farmland so we're going to get some uh, grain and that's the end of the first round easy as that and as you notice at the end of the round uh, new resources get added um, we're going to let some of these resources stack up a little bit uh, in a multiplayer game obviously the, these might be more contested uh, and we we might not be be able to be as lazy as we're going to be in this solo playthrough okay uh, so next round I think we're going to get some more farmland because we want plenty of fields. Um, and maybe not the most exciting thing we could do, but I think we're also going to get some more grain because we want to make sure we can plant plenty. And on we go. We just opened up fencing, which uh, we'll use to fence in our cattle when we finally get some. Uh, but for now, I think it's time to do a little bit of planting so first action we're going to go to this uh, grain utilization and we're going to sow that grain we got in the first couple of rounds into our fields and you'll notice that this turns into three grain and as we hit these harvest points we're going to get a grain back so over the course of the game that's going to be quite valuable for us let's confirm that okay and one more action um, there's some clay there let's have a quick look so these are some of the improvements that we're going to be building throughout the game we'd really like this cooking hearth which is going to cost us four clay so we'd like to wait another round we'd equally what like to wait longer before we harvest this forest as well um, at the end of this round here so the round after the one that we're in right now we're going to have to have six food so i think we're going to do day laborer let's do an honest day's work and get a couple of food and let the food on fishing and the meat in place build up a little bit because now these are going to hit four food which means together with the two that we just got we can either go to fishing or the meat in place let's go fishing and we can get four so now we know that we're going to feed our families if you can't feed them you take uh like begging cards which are basically uh, minus points at the end of the game so we want to avoid that uh, the sheep market has opened up again just like we've done with uh, the forests and uh, the clay and the reed banks we're going to let let some more sh sheep get added before we take those actions um, so we've got one more action to take uh, we've got all our food sorted uh, and now there is four clay there which would be enough to build that cooking hearth which I think we're going to want so let's go and grab that clay now let the forest and reed bank fill up a little more and then we pay pay for our harvest and we can get children now which is basically how we get additional workers but right now we've only got two houses so if we want more workers we're going to have to build more houses and that is why we're going to visit the forest and get all of that wood and 
farm expansion is how we build new houses so we are also going to go to the reed bank because we're going to need five wood and two reeds per house and i think we want to build a couple of houses because this is not something we're going to get to do often throughout the game so um, we want to maximize our efficiency so i think we're going to do some improvements and we're going to get that cooking hearth without four clay that lets us convert some of our resources. Let's take a closer look just for you guys. Uh, that lets us convert some of our resources into food. And anytime we do the bake action, we can turn one of our wheat into three food. It's also worth one victory point at the end of the game. So a useful improvement for our families. Uh, second action is gonna be the farm expansion. We're gonna get some new houses because next round we want to get some more people into our little village perfect uh, we can't build any stables although is it worth us just building one new house uh, see eventually we'd like to get four people by the end of the game I think sometimes you can push and try and get five or more but I think four is probably going to be our limit so we could either get one building now and then we can do one person and then that also lets us get some stables which means we can start getting some sheep but i think i think we're going to do the two two um, two rooms because we may never do that action again through the rest of the game so that just sets us up nicely we know we can get the two workers that we want and then we're going to have to find another way of getting stables for our sheep when we finally get there okay we've opened up a quarry now that's useful for building some of these later items like uh, the pottery and basket makers which we'll probably want because they're nice end game scoring things uh, but if we want any of the others as well joinery we may not end up getting because this converts some of our wood into victory points at the end of the game but wood is a precious commodity especially in the solo game because eventually we want to build some fencing to keep all of our cattle in but for now let's take a little look uh, we have got to feed our family at the end of this round the quickest and easiest way to do that is just go into the meat in place i think so we may well do that and we may well wish for children so we'll go there grab that food Um, yes, I think we're going to have to get the new children, which is fine because we've got the food to do that just about. So that worked out quite nicely for us. And now we've got three workers for this round. So things are coming together. And we can also harvest pumpkins, which would be nice. We want to get a pumpkin soon because if you notice our wheat supplies are running low. So we're going to be grain utilization soon so three workers i think we're going to want another farmland probably a pumpkin so that we can sow that next season and then i'm not sure but let's get the farmland let's go with that route first so we'll sow another field or rather plow another field get that ready we'll get a pumpkin because we're going to want to plant that next season and then we've got one person left so we could go to the quarry and get a couple of stone that would be quite useful uh, for building another location <clears throat> um, but ideally we'd like to get to four stone i think that would be useful because then that lets us build the pottery and the basket makers which i'd like to do before the end of the game so is there anything more interesting we could do we've got a little bit of time before we need to worry about feeding but equally we would like some stables soon we could get that wood now 
because right now we're we're some way off feeding our family we're gonna need nine food and these sheep are starting to look very tasty I think we want to wait one more round if we can get it to eight wood we can uh, fence in a nice area and get those sheep and maybe cook any that are left over which would be useful to get help us with the food so maybe we'll go and gather that clay up because we may not have many opportunities because we've got we've got a little bit of a plan and we kind of know where we're going so let's get that clay for now and the pig market has opened up eventually by the end of the game there, there are uh, three uh, animal resources in this game we've got sheep we've got pigs and later we'll unlock uh, cows so we want to make sure we've got enough space by the end of the game to house all of those but we're some way off that so for now we're gonna get some wood let's confirm that and we're gonna fence i think we're gonna do some fencing are we or yeah i think we are so this is just a way to fence some areas off one two three four five six we've used there we could do seven and make two little areas Can we bake our cooking half? Yes, we can. So let's do that. So let's let's split that in half as well. Okay. Now we have unfortunately just one worker left. We'd really like two workers. because we do not have enough food to feed our family and i'd love to do this side job which is going to get us three food but probably not enough to feed without cooking quite a lot of things we will have a pumpkin or two let's double check yeah let's let's do that i think so we are we are going to do this side job because we'd like to get a cheap stable so we're going to build a stable in there and that's going to double the amount of animals we can keep in there to four and then we're going to bake some bread giving us three food <clears throat> now you'll notice we're a long way off feeding our family but we don't need to worry just yet because we're going to have the option to convert some of our food so we're going to do a little bit of cooking we don't want to cook our pumpkin unfortunately but we may not have a choice so that was that was probably not the smartest play on my part we've got rid of quite a lot of wheat there and we got rid of one of those pumpkins but at least we've fed our family i think we could have certainly been more efficient there And so, like in the solo game, oh, well, and in multiplayer game, this is like about being as efficient as you can be, right? So now, unfortunately, we're going to have to go and get another pumpkin, which is less than ideal because we want to go up here and sow. We're going to sow everything, which unfortunately means we're not going to have the resources to bake uh, that's the knock-on effect of my misplay I think uh, but let's now go up to this sheep market because there are just lots and lots of sheep there uh, perfect so we have a lot of sheep uh, if you have more than one animal of a type anytime there's a harvest you are gonna breed one of that animal type so that's a good way to kind of uh, gather resources but for now 
Okay, let's see what we want to do. How much wood is there? There's four wood. Uh, we've got to get food to feed our family at the end. <coughs> we may well be going fishing for seven. Let's do that. I think we're going to wish for another child. Fill up our extra spots because we have one more space in our house. And then we've got one action left. And I think we're going to grab that stone over there. And again, we're short on food, but I think we're okay because I think we can uh, cook up one of our sheep, unfortunately, put him in the pot and get some extra resources that way. Uh, we do have a pumpkin as well that we could... In fact, let's, let's use one of our pumpkins. There we go. Perfect. Now we can feed our family. And now we've got four actions as we move in to the next round. And we still have food coming in. So we're quite happy with that. Um, we're going to cook up one of those sheep because we haven't got room for it. And now the forest has got six wood on. Is that enough to do what we want? One, two, three, four, five. I believe it is. I think that's enough for what we want to do. We want to build one more little fenced area here. So let's nab that wood. Let's build us some more fencing. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. We have one wood left over, which I think we're going to use for this side job to build a cheap fence. And we've still got two workers left. And we don't even have a harvest at the end of this round. So we've got a little bit of wiggle room here. So let's do that side job. We're going to build a stable right in there. That can hold lots of uh, animals. And then we're going to use one of our wheat to get three food. And we're well on our way to feeding our family. So things are coming together nicely now. I think we had a little bit of a hiccup, but I think we're in a good position. We've got one worker left. Um, and let's take a look at the improvements. There's lots of reed down there. Let's see. So we could get the pottery. That's a good end game scorer for us, I think. This clay oven or stone oven would be nice because that gives us an extra way of uh, baking a little more food. But I think we're going to take the pottery and get that done. It's worth two points. Um, we can convert clay into food as well. I'm not sure how that works, but it does. Um, but more importantly, end game is going to give us, uh, if we've got plenty of clay, it's going to give us three points. So that's something we can hopefully get to. Okay, four workers. End of this round, we are going to have to feed our family. But I don't see that being too much of an issue. Because we are going to do a little bit of reorganization there because we're going to take these pigs and they're going to go in there. Let's confirm that. We're then going to make a little bit of room for these cows. I think they're going to go in there. It would be nice to get another stable. I don't, I don't think we've got time though, unfortunately, but so let's clear how many cows are there are four so maybe we'll clear this one out let's do that that was perfect we're gonna when i say clear this out as well we're going to be cooking these uh sheep up and that gives us plenty of food for the harvest and then we are gonna go to the cattle market and these cows are going to go in there and that's absolutely perfect and we've got two workers left still well, we definitely want to go to the reed bank. And I think we want to go to the clay pit. But do we want to do that just yet or not? See, sometimes you're, you're trying to hold off as long as possible for these. Um, 
do we have in resources? That would be fun, but I don't think we have the resources for it. Now let's just plow a field and then plant. But I don't think, uh, we only have the one wheat, so I don't think that's worth us doing. Um, can we afford any more improvements? We have two clay and three wood. Sorry, two, two clay and three stone. Um, now we want this basket makers before the end of the game. But we would be short. We don't really want to waste our clay too much. See, we could get the stone oven. That is worth three victory points at the end of the game as well. So that in itself is very good. We've used one of our clay got all of our stone so let's see how much stone there is available there is three here well let's do that i think that seems not terrible for three end game points because we're still going to get that clay before the end of the game um, we're going to do that get some more uh, food and we're just swimming in food now so we don't need to worry too much about that and we're going to go to the quarry because i think we only really want three stone well we only actually need two so we can go to the quarry now i think and let the reed and the clay build up a little more because they're going to help us for end game scoring we're going to feed our family perfect uh, and then we're going to have to cook uh, sheep in a can because we don't have room for them. Again, if we could have got access to some more uh, more wood, we could have built more stables and things like that, which may have been uh, useful. But that was not to be. So, well, we're going to have to go and click this read. Certainly. And then we're going to have to improve because we want this uh, basket makers that's going to be worth a whole heap of points at the end of the game um and i think we've got to get this clay for the same reason because the way we've built our in game scoring is we need seven clay to get three points there so i think we have to get that clay and then we've just got one action left which is not going to be the most exciting but in fact i think we can just do cultivation and we're going to plow a field and then we're going to sow we're going to sow our pumpkin we're going to sow that that just gives us a nice nice uh nice little plowed area i quite like that and i believe that is everything we can do uh, we need to pay um, we're one food short but that's okay we can quite happily um, cash in <coughs> one of our sheep feed our family we're gonna cook a cow and then I believe we've just got end game scoring to do so here we go, cash in our reeds and our clay. And we're in on 44 points. That's not a bad score. I think over 40 is a reasonable score. Um, I think if you're very familiar with this game, you're probably scoring it well into the 50s. Um, but yeah, hopefully that gives you an idea of the game. So let's have a look at the end position. So that's, uh, that's our little farmstead. We've got our cows we've got our sheep and we've got our pigs and we've got all our improvements so how does it stack up then i mean for me it's still a really strong game um i think the the theme and the artwork is is maybe quite dated now and i think in modern games we maybe expect a little bit more but this is still a really tight and smart worker placement game uh, it's quite simple I guess by today's standards again but you know with with more complexity um, it comes rules bloat you know so 
Um, the more decisions that you've got, the more the more you have to explain to new players. Whereas this is quite simple, you know, you go to a location and you get some goods and you try and create this engine and you try and convert these goods into victory points. Uh, and the, the, the dynamic of the game comes in other players taking the spots you want to be at. Uh, which is what we want in a worker placement game. I think like that's that's where a lot of the fun is is in not being able to do everything, or you know hoping that your opponent doesn't take the spot that you want, so you can kind of uh, get in there. Uh, if we're doing everything we want all of the time, I think it probably takes a little bit of the fun out of it. Um, whereas it's nice and simple. Go to a location, get that good. I think in like a lot of games today. Maybe you go to a location, you get a good, but if you, you know, so if you, if you go to the grain seeds location, you get your grain. Whereas t in modern games, maybe you go there and you get a grain, but if you send your farmer there, you get an extra grain. But if you send him on a Sunday, you get a penance token and then that penance token goes on a different track. And while that maybe gives you like more decision making and the decision tree gets bigger, um, it also adds to the rules bloat and adds to the things you've got to teach to new players. Um, so I think there's a trade off there. And I think some of these um, older games are really still worth playing. Uh, it's a game that, you know, I don't see hit the table at my club very often at all, but I certainly wouldn't refuse it if anyone wanted to play. I think it's a really good game. If you're new to the hobby, if you're just getting into board games, I would definitely say, you know, get on board game arena, give this a go look back at some of those classic games um, and maybe they don't have all of the fancy bells and whistles of like more modern games but you know you might find a game that you really like and really enjoy and Agricola is certainly one of those so yeah give it a go take a look um, but that's it guys I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time take care bye bye